South Africa decided to launch the Green Hydrogen Summit last year to spearhead conversations with various stakeholders around tapping onto green hydrogen's potential. Ramachopa indicated that a lot of work has been done to ensure that the regulatory environment will ogre well for private sector players to safely invest and play in the arena. Adding that this year's summit will be more focused on public-private partnerships and actual projects to bring green hydrogen to fruition. We're taking it to a different level, a project focus, and the project focus is really led by the private sector. So like I said, by definition, the private sector will have a better appreciation of what are the market and commercial opportunities and the private sector will move on their own to exploit those opportunities but they'll be aided and abetted by a, a, an empowering uh, policy framework dispensation. South Africa is a founding member of the Africa Green Hydrogen Alliance. This is a voluntary coalition of African countries with significant green hydrogen production potential. Some of the countries who form part of this alliance include Kenya, Egypt, Angola and Namibia, among others. This partnership was one of the items on the agenda during the recent binational discussions that took place between South Africa and Namibia. One of the conversations that we had now when we were with the president in Namibia on Friday was an appreciation of the potential of the green hydrogen source to be able to power, if you like, our economic interest and also those of uh, that they've got socio-economic dimensions. I mean, it's not just about the increase in GDP. It's not only about uh, the amount of jobs that will be created, but it's about universal penetration. It's about uh, the reconfiguring of the energy mix. It's about the reduction of uh, the harmful em emissions into the environment, uh, protecting the interest of posterity. So all I'm saying is that the calculus is much bigger than just a narrow focus on what is the economic potential. Ramachopa says it's still early days for green hydrogen to be a major fuel source in the local economy because the exploitation of it is currently very expensive. Cost component related to green hydrogen, they are still prohibitive uh, because uh, the technology is uh, yet to mature and compared to other energy sources, of course, uh, uh, is still, um, is still uh, prohibitive from a cost perspective. But we think that the, the industrialized north is prepared to pay a premium associated with the exploitation of this resource. And that's why we see that as, a, if you like, an avenue for us to be able to uh, elevate uh, the, the, the significance of this uh, of the, this resource. The electricity minister indicated that the western, northern and eastern Cape provinces were already collaborating to become significant players in the exploitation of green hydrogen. The economic potential is said to be enormous, with great scope for industrialization, economic growth and the creation of jobs. Ultimately, the hope is that this energy source will one day form part of the country's energy mix, as South Africa also does its part to curb its carbon footprint. Nampumelelo Siziba SABC News, Johannesburg.